Hey everybody, welcome back to the Scott Spot. I'm Scott, and you're watching Final Fantasy XIII. Okay, so as promised, I met you back at the Archalt Step. Uh, however, I did go back and do a little bit more grinding with the the last mark, the Tuitus. Well, not the last mark, but the the Undying that we fought. Uh, you remember how I upgraded the accessories? Well, I went and upgraded our weapons too. Uh, I basically maxed them out at their tier one level. Uh, apparently, the weapons all have three tiers. Uh, and it was feasible to go ahead and do that. So, I went ahead and did everybody's best weapons. For lightning, I think it's the Blaze Fire Saber. Uh, you may wonder, say, isn't that her initial weapon? Well, you would be right, so I don't have much to say about that. Uh, actually, I have a, I made, I think I have right in here why their weapons are what they are. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, it has no special abilities, uh, but it doesn't have any, like, faults either. Um, you could say the Lionheart is better, but um, it's not as strong at the end of Tier 2 as the Blaze Fire Saber is. And it's, the Blaze Fire Saber is easier to upgrade. Um, so, yeah. And just to get an idea of how much... I think she was using the Gladius level 2. So... She gained like 100 strength, or maybe 90 strength, and 100 magic just by upgrading her Blaze Fire Saber to the end of Tier 1. So yeah, that's pretty damn awesome. For Hope, it's the Hawkeye, is because uh, the Catalyst is cheap, and it raises his magic by like 506 points, and there's no real downside to it. Um, so yeah, it raised, I think he had the... Um, oh, I don't remember, but let's see. Um... We'll just say the Alley Kanto. Uh, the strength isn't really raised significantly, but the magic goes up down by like 100. So, <laughs> uh, For Vanille, it's the Belladonna one because it has improved debuffing, which is her main role. And uh, Let's see, she had the... Uh, yeah, basically <laughs> we got 100 extra stat points for all these. For Snow, it's the Paladin. Um, just because it gives him improved guard, and as we know, his main role is a sentinel. Uh, so with the Pelladen, he can eventually get, um, when it's upgraded all the way to tier 2, he can improve his defense by like 16%, or his damage uh, his damage intake, I mean. Uh, and his snow and his strength and magic aren't really important. Uh, for Saz, he doesn't really have a weapon that stands out, <laughs> just like everything else about him, but uh, the Den Abdullers are not a bad choice. Um... So yeah, and then unfortunately, Fang, her best weapon, uh, we won't be able to get until much later. So uh, that's unfortunate because she's our the main person who it would be really nice to have an upgraded weapon for. Oh well, we'll get it like at the very end of the chapter. And also, I should note that everybody finished their primary role Crystariums, and we still have like over a hundred thousand CP for everybody, over two hundred thousand for Saz. I don't know how that happened. Um, so, hopefully, they won't max out their CP before the next Crystarium expansion. I don't think they will. But if they do, we can just spend it in their secondary rolls. Alright, with that intro out of the way, let's uh, check out the, the next Seath Stone. Number 9 should be. Oh, wait, no, that's the one we already did. No, I don't want to take it on. Oh, wait, is it this glowing one over here? I guess so. See if I can get over there without attracting the attention of that Behemoth King. Jump up, Fang. Don't make me go around. There you go, girl. Is this a, a waste stone, too? Well, that would be nice to have. Oh, yeah, here we go. Mission 9, Heave Ho, Kaiser Behemoth, Arch Out Step, Central Expanse, Class C. Even with the power of a Lassie, a Kaiser Behemoth? Really? So I have the choice of being gored to death beside that pond, or wandering the wilds as an eternally damned Seath. Lovely. All those years of hard work and careful planning for this. I should have lived more for the moment. Yeah, maybe becoming a Lassie wasn't your best choice, assuming you did it by, uh, volun voluntarily. Alright, so, let's see, where is this guy? Oh, the pond straight up there. Alright, let's head up that way. There's a turtle on the horizon. Oh, man. Oh, no. They're after me. You know, let's go ahead and get this treasure sphere. It's been taunting me this whole time. Oh, we're going to have to fight these guys first. Nothing to it. And the treasure sphere contains... 
a Rod of Thorns, which is a weapon for Vanille. Not that it matters, because she already has her best currently available weapon. Let's see. Uh, this weapon is fitted with a set of cruel thorns intended to entangle and distress an opponent. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see. Not that pawn, but the one over here, right? Stay away from that behemoth king, even though we're fixing to fight a stronger enemy. Make sure we're going the right path here. Oh, wait, no, I passed it. Well, where is this thing? Oh, it's on the other side. Alright, uh, we can't really see it from here, I guess. But the trick that we want to do is to actually go... No, you don't have to go all the way around, but you want to um, head on the other side and approach it from this side. So we can get a... Uh, I'm just going to take these guys out real quick. Alright, so... Hold on. Where is this thing? I wish he would friggin' load. Oh wait, here we go. Alright, so the trick here is to... First I'll let you get a look, on, look at him. Oh jeez, those Gorgon offsets are gonna be annoying. Right, the trick is to jump up, get detected by it, and then jump back down, and then wait for him to settle. Yeah, so when he starts standing in place and roaring, you know that he's settled. And now he's left his backside open. So let's fight him. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so the default paradigm for this is aggression. Both lightning and fang are commandos. And hope is a ravager. And you see we're doing so much damage that I don't even think we're going to have the need to stagger it. With any luck, we can finish it off before it uh, heals. Ow, that kind of hurt. Okay, maybe we won't. Wait, did we not get the preemptive? Yeah, we didn't, did we? I just realized that. Okay, so let's retry. Oh, crap. Damn it. We could actually probably win this battle, but we don't want to risk it. <sighs> oh, damn. Get me away from here. Alright, first, I'm going to try to get these Gorgon Ossets. They're just annoying the piss out of me. They're going to make this more difficult than it has to be. Gorgonaut sits come here. Oh, and it's preemptive. Hope just blizzagged the fuck out of them. Alright, so let's go back around. In such a way that that thing doesn't detect us. Alright, so let's jump up. Gives attention jump back down wait for him to settle all right it feels like there's a turtle is nearby because the screen is shaking all right let's maybe we can be more successful this time Hey, maybe I just need to sneak instead of running. All right, that has to be preemptive, right? There we go. Yeah, this thing's done for then. Stagger, hope. Come on, man. Today. There we go. Oh yeah, <laughs> he didn't even get to heal. Sweet. Damn, hope your boomerang's very purple. Five stars, bitches. And we got a hellish talon, too. Well, you know we can't complain about that. And we got a rotocrosite. Alright, so once we've... D 
Hold on. Okay, once we've done that, we just need to go to the next mark, which is somewhere around here. See on the map anywhere? Maybe not. Alright, so let's look for the next sea stone. I'm not sure where exactly it is, but I thought it was nearby. Is it over here? Alright, let's just try this one. Maybe we can look at it without engaging those flan, because they sure aren't worth my time anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. Mission 10, Hollow Hope, Ambling Bellows. The war claimed my family, the war claimed my home. This focus is my last remaining hope. I long for the release of Crystal Sleep. Perhaps when I wake, the world will be a better place. I should hurry and destroy the Ambling Bellows, raising havoc on the steppe's northern high plain. Okay. This is actually a common enemy that we'll uh, run into in the next area, so this should be really easy. It had just occurred to me that I didn't Libra that Kaiser Behemoth at all, so I'll have to fight it again later, unfortunately. Alright, so let's get sort of a bearing here. Wow, all the way up there. Alright, so in that case, I will just meet you guys up there, because it looks like it's a little distance away. And it looks like that's where the turtles live, um, so I'll have to sneak through that area, so that'll be fun. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in a sec. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, so yeah, it wasn't with the turtles, it was where these two guys are fighting out. Oh god, don't notice me. Yeah, see, he's right around the corner, so hopefully we can just sneak right by. We need to get a preemptive strike on this guy if possible, but it's not a big deal if we don't. Alright, let's see if we can just run up to him. Yeah, I don't think he noticed. Alright, so immediately we want to switch to Ruthless, which has Fang as a saboteur, and put on D-Protect and D-Shell. And that will, hopefully, first let's Libra this, this thing before Lightning just completely destroys it. D-Protect. Oh, yep, it's dead. Ready for the next fight. I doubt we got all the d details on it, too. So normally that thing summons a bunch of, uh, flunkies to help it out, but we just killed it so fast that it doesn't matter. And five stars, of course. And mission complete. Superconductor times fours. I think that's some kind of good component or something for upgrades. Oh, looks like we got a new analect for that, too. Let's see what it says. Uh, analect 2, Lindsay's Nest. So, for those that don't know, uh, Lindsay is the god of Cocoon. The foul sea god of Cocoon. And lo, the Viper Lindsay bore fangs into the pristine soil of our Grand Pulse, despoiled the land, and from it crafted a cocoon both ghastly and unclean. Lies spilled forth from the serpent's tongue. Within this shell lies paradise. Men heard these lies and were seduced and led away. O oh, cursed are the fools and tr who trust a snake and turn their backs upon the bounty of Pulse's hallowed land. For those who dwell in that cocoon are not man, but slaves of the demon Lindsay. Ye who honor Pulse... Rise into the heavens and cast down the viper's nest. Author unknown. Hmm. I wonder how much truth is to that. It makes a lot of sense, really. Okay, so that's that mark. Um, so the next one is mark 11. Is this the sea stone for it? No, that would have been too easy. Alright, so where's this thing? Um, let's see. It is... north and east of... oh wait, is that it right there? Yeah, it kind of looks that way. Alright, so let's uh, head over there then. Looks like that might be in the turtle area. Hopefully we can just sneak by these guys again. Yeah, that worked out. Okay. I'm not gonna... I mean, I'll, I'm gonna cut, but uh... yeah, I'll catch you guys there. Okay, we're back at the sea stone. Or not at the turtle nest, but you can see it over there. To get here, I had to go through this little nest of behemoth kings. You can see there's one, but I just ran through a, a ton of them. I think I found their home. <laughs> anyway, let's see what the sea stone says. Let's see. Mark 11, Pride Before Fall. The mark is an Adroa, found at the Central Expanse Class C. A focus this time appears to be dispatching an Adroa on the Archhild Step. I don't know how many years have passed since the foul sea last called upon me, but there seems to be more beasts about. Not that it matters, provided I can complete my focus and retain my master's favor. I will never die. 
and a little hardship is a small price to pay for an eternity of peaceful dreaming. I guess that's one way to look at it. For the people that wanted the crystal slumber, I guess they got what they needed. Looks like this guy failed, though. Okay, so where is this thing? It is... Oh, wow. <laughs> Figures it'd be all the way on the other end of the step. Okay, so that's going to take a, a couple seconds to get to, so I'll meet you guys there. Alright, we made it. We're all the way on the other end now. It looks like our group of Adroas is right there. And this is another easy battle. You don't need a preemptive strike to kill these guys, but it's easy to get. Um, so what you do is you run up on them. Oh wait, try not to get noticed like that. Yeah, it looks like we got it. Yeah, preempt. <laughs> this is going to be good. Smack them all thing. Ruin gun, blitz. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Ruin gun, blitz. <laughs> oh man. Not gonna lie, that turned me on a little bit. <laughs> so cool. Um. So yeah, if that doesn't work out for you, a sure proof way of getting a preemptive strike is to get in the battle and then retry, and you'll be facing an Adroa. And then you just wait a few seconds for it to turn around, and then you run forward. And that's like 100% uh, effective. And we got two frost rings, so there's that. Remember, uh, the rings are uh, missable items. Well, not missable, but um, if you sell them, you can never get them back. Okay, so there's that. Uh, what's the next one? Let's see. Let's go... Oh, I don't want to fight you guys yet. Oh, damn. No, 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 no. I think I could maybe take out that thing, but I don't want to try my luck, you know? Alright, so I guess let's go around. I think we want to go over to that Seath Stone next. Somewhere over here, anyway. Wait, what is this? Which one is it? Oh man, now I'm confused. Um. All right, let's uh, let's just go this way and see what happens. Oh, we got some dire flan in the way. Oh, uh, they're gonna need to be dispatched. Actually, they don't need to be, but. Okay, so I just found out that two dire flan can merge and create something called a monstrous flan. I'm not sure I knew that before. Uh, it wasn't a problem or anything, but... Alright, so what is going on here? It's looks like some kind of red barrier and a red sea stone to match. What's it say? Oh, we got a little tutorial. Seath palings. These sea stone emanations block roads and pathways all across Grand Pulse. Complete the mission of the sea stone near them and they will dissipate. Be warned that the marks for these missions are formidable foes, and you need not slay them all. Should you decide to undertake one of these missions, be prepared for a grievous challenge. Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever you say. Oh uh, yeah, here we go, this is the one I was looking for. Mark 12. Jaseric, the Profane. Okale, Archout Step, Western Benchland. The Undying. Oh, it's another Undying. Fearsome sea through defy foul sea will, driven by an intense loathing of all that lives. Jaseric, the Profane, is of their number, and my focus is his doom. He is said to lead a horde of Seath on the steppes western Benchland. To think you would become such a Seath, Jaseric. You, who could not harm a fly. Whatever part of you lingers in that grotesque prison of crystalline flesh must suffer. I will set you free, my friend. Yeah, I'd, good luck with that. Um, so I guess the names of these Undyings are the actual the Seath's name. So th th there was a person named Jaseric at one point. Interesting. Oh, and we got a new data log entry. Oh, probably about the uh, seat palings, if I had to guess. I don't know. Okay. So, let's just head over to the general area where he resides. Way over there. Oh, it's not too far, I guess. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I went, I'm not at the mark yet, but I went ahead and decided to cut here because we haven't actually been to this part of the step yet. 
So you can see there's a little bit of a plateau peninsula type thing over there with lots of seeth wandering around. I'm not sure what kind of seeth they are, but I guess we'll find out. And just so you're aware, uh, I switched Vanille back in. I gave her all of Hope's accessories, which for the record are Sprint Shoes, Blessed Talisman, and Sorcerer's Mark. And our paradigms are uh, safe, sub safe Subversion, Relentless Assault, and Aggression. Our strategy is going to put Slow, Deep Protect, and D-Shell on the mark, and then just switch to Relentless, relentless Assault to stagger him, and then Aggression to do some damage once he's staggered. Alright, so let's just head down here. As you can see, the uh, weather got all kind of depressing. Alright, I'm not sure if we can kill these guys or not, but we might as well try, right? This isn't the mark, by the way. What are these things? Oh, oh, tax him. So we've already fought him before. That's nice to know. Well, Fang said that was hardly worth the effort, and I'm inclined to agree with her. We have some treasure spheres hidden all around this place, actually. Mark's over there. Let's see what happens if I... Is there any reason for me to go over here? Yeah, let's just explore this place. Oh, here's a sea stone that's not active. I wonder when it will be. Uh, I guess we could kill these guys. Nothing to it. Okay, let's not go over here yet. Actually, no, let's not. Actually, it doesn't matter, really, does it? Let's just do it. Get it out of the way. Alright, Jaceric, where are you at? And it's in a dying, so you can't get a preemptive strike. Oh man, this thing's huge. I love those hands covering its eyes. It's like, see no evil. Alright, so what we're going to do is put slow on this thing. While well, Vanille puts on D-Shell and D-Protect, hopefully. Wow, that was fast. So let's do D-Protect and D-Shell now. Oh, got D-Shell. Let's switch to D-Protect. Truly. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's switch to Relentless in an attempt to stagger it. And I'm going to go ahead and use a quick Libra. Oh wow, it's staggered already. Alright, so uh, once it's staggered, you want to go ahead and go for Relentless for one more round while they boost the chain gauge. And then switch to Aggression. I'm going to go ahead and lever it one more time just to make sure that we get all the info and never have to fight this guy again. Hopefully. And then we're just going to kick the crap out of this guy. Looks like Lightning launched it, but now Fang's going to launch it. By the way, it takes a lot of strength to launch this guy. Apparently. Yeah, see, only Lightning was able to do it. And the only reason she's stronger than Fang is because of those weapon upgrades I did. So, if you didn't do the weapon upgrades, I would advise um, putting a strength boosting accessory on either Lightning or Fang, whoever has the higher strength. See, the stagger ran out, but it doesn't matter because it's about to die anyway. Not a big deal. Five stars. That's what I like to see. No spoils, but what's our reward? Our reward is that paling goes down for one. And what else? We get a royal armlet. And I don't think that's too important, but oh well. And we get a new title, the, the rank of Bane Slayer. Cool. Goodbye, Jaceric. Alright, so I think what just happened was um, the light that like flew into the sky released the seal on um, Batuatus's cocoon back in the Padra ruins. What are these guys doing? I didn't notice this before, but it seems that the weather got a lot better um, after we defeated Just Eric. Wow, actually, now that I look at it, all the seeth are gone. Huh, interesting. So I wonder if they only if they normally only appear uh, eight smooth hides. Cool. I wonder if they normally only appear when um, just the Jasteric mark is active. Interesting. Let's uh, take out these guys so we can get that treasure sphere. God, I love massacring these, these guys. 
Alright, so what do we get here? An ice charm. What does that do? Let's check. Well, we know it's an accessory, but... Occasionally absorbs ice damage's HP. What does that mean, occasionally? That's not good enough. Are there any hidden treasure spheres over in this direction? I'm about done with fighting these lay and shit. Turn the camera. Oh, there's one hiding over here. Okay, got rid of them. So let's open the treasure sphere, see what's inside. Ah, oh, a fire charm. Well, we already know that probably occasionally absorbs fire damage, if I had to guess. And I think that might be all the treasure spheres down here. Okay, so... Whoa, don't want to fight you guys. Sorry to say. Not because I couldn't beat them. Uh, anyway, so the next we want to head to Sea Stone 13, which is at the base of a large hill just northeast of the peninsula where we found the stone for Mission 12. So that would be over there. Yeah, probably right there. See the glowing mark? Alright, so I will meet you guys. Whoa, we're way down there. Back over there then, I guess. 